I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. You disapprove of something the Chantry did? Are you allowed to do that? That largely depends upon one's company. While surrounded by those declared heretics already, I am safe enough. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goals. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. Farewell. Make her go with you. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who is she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corbin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power, instead of comforting the masses. Mage circles started falling years ago. The Chantry was troubled even before the Divine's murder. Yet many people continue to bear it great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orle, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. So, if everyone listens to the chant, things will be smooth as silk. I did say commonality is merely a beginning, but it's an important one. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. Planning to steer the history of the world, Ambassador Montelier. I believe the Inquisition is already charting that course. Which brings me to a question, if you have a moment. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? I'd tell the Chantry I was saved by circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. Greetings. How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in your life. I believe we actually met in Valroyo. Leliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What exactly do you mean when you say the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but our legions are fond of playful touches. Hello? Can I help you with something? These truths the Maker has revealed to me. As there is but one God, one life, one death, there is but one God, and He is our Maker. Your enchanter Vivienne lives well. She would... The apothecary nice would like to know supplies. why you need so much death. The Smiths can use them to fit our troops with better gear. 
Oh, might not affect just... you much. Tell him but that our recruits will have better chances next time some monster flies out of a rift. Farewell. Make a go with you. Reports of fade rifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. You were condemned to a lightless dungeon. Not much of a life to sacrifice. And I would do it again. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle and resumed his duties as Lord. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. I'll leave you to your work. Mm -hmm.